Hi everyone, today I'd like to present my game Life Choices. I've actually presented this game in a previous video, but in that video the font was a little bit small on the game, so it was very hard to actually see and follow. So I'm actually going to have another demonstration of the game and run through it again this time. And this time the font's going to be a lot larger, because so it's actually going to be a little bit easier to see. Okay, so let's get to the game now. So when you open the game, you should see this on your screen. Life Choices, Excel version by Spectrum Economics. So to start things off, all you have to do is click the Play Game button. Here we are. So this should take us to the Start menu. So in the Start menu, you can select the number of players, number of rounds, and enter the details of the players. So you can have, in this game, up to four players. So you can see here, I'll select four, and you'll actually see the fields here end, open up for four players. So here we go, from player one to four. So you enter your details in there. So for this game, I'm just going to use one player, make it a little bit easier, a little bit quicker. You see, you'll just have one, here we go, one player here. And also the number of rounds. So you can have between 12, 18, and 24 rounds. So for this game, I'm just going to use 12 rounds, make it a little bit quicker. You can also choose how much money you want to start with, and how much happiness and how much karma. So we're going to start with $150, 10 smiles of happiness, and zero karma. So you've got to enter the player's name. My name's already in there. So nothing needs to be done there. And also select what character type you want to play. So previously, in my, my first video, I used, the, um, I used the Joker character. So this time, I'm going to use the Balance character. It's our personality type. So what other personality types we have is the Altruist, the Materialist, the Workaholic, the Idler, the Joker, and the character. The personality type I'm going to pick today is uh, Balanced. So before we start the game, I'm going to explain a little bit about what the game's about. So I'm going to go to the instructions page. Here we go. So here's the instructions of the game. So Life Choices is a game that applies economic concepts to decision making. So unlike many other games which aims to maximize the amount of money, like Monopoly for example, this game aims to maximize the amount of happiness you get. But money is still a very important part of this game. Because if you select too many buy cards and spend too much money, effectively you could actually get negative dollars. And if you're if you go into debt, that will wipe out all your happiness. I think you get a, a negative thousand on happiness. So if you go below that value, again, if you can get it above into the positive uh, numbers before the game ends, you'll actually get all your happiness back. But you don't want to end the game with negative dollar value. So you've got to be very careful and be aware of how much money you have. So you've still got to keep an eye on that as well. And there's also karma as well. So this comes into a bit of risk here. So you may do something, a kind deed towards someone. And that may cost you initially, but if you pick up a karma point, that karma point can be used later on if you, if you happen to get the right card to actually get a bigger award later on and potentially you actually get more back than what you get. But risk is actually a key part of this game because there's also gamble cards. So that comes down to, you know, if you get the right number when you roll the dice or if you spin the wheel or, and all that sort of thing. And these chance sort of cards can pay off big time or they can go against you. There's even betting cards as well. You can actually bet on different things. You can bet on sports and stuff like that. So um, below this on the instruction sheet, you actually have the full instructions of the game. So I'm not going to cover that now because I'm actually going to show you in a demonstration. But before you actually play the game, once I actually make this available, you'll have to read these instructions because there's actually quite a bit to get through. But um, for today, I'm actually going to show you how it's played with this demo. So I'm going to go back to return to game. Uh, here we are, the start menu. And I'm going to begin the game. Okay, so this is what we should see once the game started. So you have the player's name. It's my name there, Wayne Davies. And you also see a little picture here. And this reflects a personality type that you've selected. So I selected balance. So I've actually got my little guy here, monkey. And he's, well, anything but balance because he actually got three legs. But personality-wise, you would say he's balanced, but there's a bit of irony in that. I've also used my other dogs for some of the other personalities that you saw in the other video. He actually used uh, Remy as the Joker. I've got Mango. He's the, the orange dog. You've got him as the altruist. And I've got a few other dogs as well. So again, you can play around with that and you get different pictures. So it's just a little bit fun, add a bit more color to the game. Okay, so let's start the game now. Let's roll the dice. So that's actually equivalent to rolling two dice. You get a number between two and 12. And on some special occasions, you actually just get to roll it once. You require a special card for that. So we probably won't get that card today, but if you do, you can actually roll once and that actually gives you a chance to enter a lottery and get a lottery card. So you could get a really big payoff if you're lucky enough to get that card. And then again, lucky enough to just roll the one. We have the one roll. 
Okay, so let's roll the dice now to start this game. Okay, so what have we got with our first roll? Let's have a look. So you've rolled a 9. Select a random card or a buy card. So you're going to start the game by selecting a random card. What have you got here? Number 101. You feel sick, lose smile. Two smiles. Uh, not a good start, but okay. So I've lost two smiles. Money hasn't changed. Karma hasn't changed. It's a very simple card to get. So here we go. So you can see now the amount of money we have. So we still have the 150 we started with. We're now down to eight smiles. We started with 10 and karma has remained unchanged at zero. This screen here also shows us the number of rounds that we played. So you played one round and number of rounds remaining. So we've got 11 to go. Okay, let's roll the dice again. What have we got this time? Rolled a 10 and got a karma card. Okay, let's see what we get here. So if you roll three or more, if you, roll, if you have three or more karma points, gain $500. If you have two or more karma points, gain $400. If you have one karma point, gain $200. If you have no karma, that's us. So, so no, no change. If you have negative one, you lose $100. So these karma cards can be really quite rewarding if, if you happen to land on, you get the right question here. So this was a big payoff if we had karma. We got a bit early in the game. But anyway, so we're just going to collect, which is all zeros. Here we go. And we're going to confirm that. So again, we're back where we started at the end of the previous round. So let's have another roll. All right, we've rolled a six. Select a random card or a buy card. So I'm going to select a random card again and see what we get this time. Here we go, number 237. If you have, oh, we've actually, random cards actually landed us on a karma card. And what have we got here? No karma, no change. So, uh, again, left with the same, so zero dollars. And what have we got back? Yep, same, same as we are before. So, no, not too exciting so far, hey? Let's go to the next round. Let's go roll the dice again. Oh, we've got a buy card or a random card. Okay, I'm going to select a buy card this time. So I'll show you what you can get when you decide you want to spend some money. Here we are. Do you want to buy a motorbike for $40 to obtain five smiles? So I'm going to buy the motorbike. So here we go. So $40 have been deducted from my um, money and I've gained five smiles. So we'll confirm that. As you can see here, we're down to $110, but now we're up to 13 smiles. Let's roll the dice again. So here we go, we've rolled a six, select a random card or a buy card. So I'm going to go back to the random card, see if we can get something a bit different this time. Here we are. Do you want to buy a personal computer for $10 to obtain four smiles? So 66% off. So it's like a buy card, but we've actually got it at a discount. So we've actually been quite fortunate here. So again, it's only 10, so I'm going to fork that out. So here we go. So we've um, they deducted $10 from our bank and we've gained four smiles. Done pretty well out of that. Now our money's down to 100 and we now have 17 smiles. So I've got to keep an eye on that dollar value. I don't want to get too low in case you know, we, we actually get below zero if we get, get an unlucky card at some point. All right, we're going to roll it again. Okay, cool. Okay, so what we have now is we've rolled a five. So again, we've got a selection between a random card and a buy card. So I'm going to select the random card and see what we land this time. Here we go. Oh, just like a pretty long question here. So what have we got? Do you want to quit your current job for a lower paying job that is likely to provide you with more satisfaction? If you quit, roll the dice. If you roll six, the new job does not provide any additional satisfaction. Lose five multiplied by the number of turns left in the game. If you roll any other number, the job provides additional satisfaction, lose five, multiplied by the number of turns left in the game, and gain two smiles by number of turns. If you remain at your current job, no change. So this is interesting. It's quite a complicated question here, but it got an element of risk here. So if you quit your job, you, you may be happy or you might not. Oh, sorry, if you roll a new job, yeah, if, so if you... Um, for a, you guess you get a lower paying job and that may or may not provide you with additional satisfaction so there's a risk there in a the sense you could be losing quite a bit of money based on a risk you may actually enjoy it so i'm going to say i'm going to quit the job i'm going to take a big risk here and i'm going to roll the dice see what we get oh and it's paid off oh that's good looks like we've rolled a one 
So we didn't get the six, we got between one and five. So it's like it's good odds actually of getting something good out of that. Again, got to be careful with the money. We've lost, well, I've taken out another 30, but we've gained 12 smiles, which is actually quite good. So what have we got now? Here we are. So we're down to $70, but up to 29 smiles. So we're about halfway through the game now. So let's roll the dice again and see what we got. We've rolled a seven. Select a random card or a buy card. So I'm going to go with the random card. don't really want to buy with only $70. So I'm going to keep hold of that money for now anyway. What have we rolled this time? Oh, looks like we've got some gambling going on here with question 73. Bet on a boxing match. Bet $20 on Ben or Marnie. Roll one or two for Ben to win. Roll any other number for Marnie to win. So that's what. Three to six. That's four numbers you got now. If you correctly, correctly picked Ben, win $50. If you correctly picked Eric to win. Who's Eric? Collect $20. If you pick the wrong boxer, lose $20. So um, I'm going to bet on... Um, I'm going to go risky. I'm going to bet on Ben on this one. Oh, and I rolled a three, and I've lost. Lost the twenty dollars. It's going to hurt, but okay. So let's that take us down to now. It takes us down to only fifty dollars, and we still got 21, 29 smiles. So I took a bit of a risk there, and it, it didn't pay off. I must check what, who Eric is, by the way. <laughs> Should be money. That's something I need to check before we release this. So we got all our names right. All right, here we go now. So we're going to roll the dice again. So again, I rolled a nine. Uh, so select a random card or a buy card. So I'm going to go with a random card. If you've got anything interesting. Oh, we've got one here. So do you bring an umbrella with you when you go out? If yes, roll the dice. If you roll one or two, it rains. Lose two smiles. If you are any other number, it does not rain. Lose one smile. If no, if you roll one or two, it rains. Lose four smiles. If you roll any other number, it does not rain. So I don't think it's going to rain, is it? It's, you're rolling one or two. So I'm going to say no umbrella. And roll a six, no one, brother. So we've got no change, so no loss on that one. So where does that leave us now? Still with $50 and still with 29 smiles. All right, let's roll again. And we've rolled a six, so it's still a buy card and a random card. Get some different numbers so the dice can give us a bit more luck, hey? Let's go with another random card. We can get quite a variety of cards on this one. So here we go. Do you want to buy a 60-inch television for $30 to obtain 10 smiles? Oh, it's 25 percent off. This is... I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to buy it. Get those 10 smiles. Lose $30. going to confirm that. So we've only got three rounds remaining. I'm down on my last $20, but I've got 39 smiles. So I've got to be very, very careful now what I do. So let's go to the next round. Fingers crossed we can actually get a bit of money here. So you rolled a 9. So, buy or random card. I could select, there's a trick, you could actually select buy card and choose not to buy and remain the same. But, uh, to just to demonstrate how the game is played and show you a greater variety of cards, I'm going to go with a random card again. So what does that get us? Do you want a holiday in Europe for $40 for, to obtain 8 smiles? I'm going to say don't buy, I'm going to get negative because I've only got 30 left on mine, so I'm not going to buy. I'm going to confirm that. Actually, only got 20 left, sorry, $20 left and 39 smiles. So I think we've only got one round to go now. So here we go. Let's roll the dice, see what we got. Buy card or random card. I'm going to go with the random card. Oh, here we go. If you want to work this weekend to gain $40 and lose two smiles. Since it's at the end of the game, I really need the money, but the game's about over anyway, so I'm going to not work so it doesn't change anything. Again, if that card was earlier on, and here we go. So I think that's the end of it now. We go to the next round, and that will take us to the final. So what that means is now the game effectively is over. You can look at your final score. So if I click this, here we go, and bingo. I was the only player, and I won, and I got 39 smiles. So what you can do with that, so it gives you there all the players' scores, and it gives you the winner. So it's only one player, so by default, I, I win the game. So what you can do is you can actually enter your top score. So if I click here, you can actually see that the lowest here, to get into the top, I need to score above 42, so I've just missed out on that. So I can click top score anyway, 
that will put my entry in the um, into the winners list, but I don't get into the top five. So I can show you now is uh, the view all winners. So I've done a number of tests on this, as you can see. Played quite a few times now. My best score was a 98. In the previous go, I ended up with a negative thousand. Things obviously went horribly wrong in that one. Uh, my money went below zero. So this time around, 39, not a bad score. This keeps track of all your previous winners. So just so you know where you stand in the big picture. So I'm going to return back to results again. And that pretty much takes us to the end of the game now. Um, once you've done that, you can actually go back and play again if you want. And uh, yeah, that's the way it is. So this is the game, Life Choices. I, I hope you have fun and soon this will be done. Again, uh, there's still a little bit more testing. As you can see, I had the wrong name on one of the questions and all. But I think basically it is operating fine. I still got to test out what happens when I've got more players and stuff. It gets a little bit more sophisticated then. But for this video anyway, I think it seemed to have performed fairly well and, and nothing really went wrong with it. So. So hopefully um, I'm going to have this ready and if you're interested you just leave it in the comments and I should be able to provide you a date when I can actually provide this game. So you know it's a, it's a bit of a freebie and it's a bit of fun. So I'm just going to click this, play again. Okay it takes us back to the start screen and that basically resets everything for you to restart the game. So that'll be good fun. Okay well thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this game or if you enjoyed the video of this game I'll be uploading more games, or in some cases it may not necessarily be a game, it might be a model of some sort, again using Excel. But yeah, so click the like button if you, if you did like it, and if you want to see more of these other games or more of these other Excel spreadsheets and all, click the subscribe button and you'll be informed when other videos come up, as well as other stuff relating to economics. And I've also got a, a, a vegan section of videos, so if you're actually a vegan and you're interested in, in veganism and, and stuff related to that as well, I'm going to be uploading videos of those too. So again, thank you for listening, and um, we are be seeing more of you.